Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to update you on how it's going with getting the accessibility to come in and out of the building with my power chair to a more safe place. Cause right now there is the button for when you're coming from inside there's that main button and then you're in a very tight area and you have to get by and press the other button before that door closes and you actually have to hold it because the first one that comes right into the building it does not stay open long and it'll a lot of times it'll just open halfway and then smack so you've got to be very careful and then you press the button and you go out the other door there's another exit but it's never had a button and I've been here for going on three years and on Thursday I was getting ready to leave to go see my trustee and the building manager was down the, ha the hall talking to a lady in another apartment and she looked at me and she goes Oh, by the way, I'm just waiting on the quote. We're going to be putting a accessibility button at that back door. Awesome. Because then, until they, oh, and shits, come and help me get out the front door. And she's like, you really are struggling. And she says, oh, okay. We're going to work on getting you a remote so that you press this on this remote. And it'll open not just one, but both of those doors. But until then, at least I'll be able to come and go once they have the button at that back side door done. So then I can come in and out that one door and with it opening automatically, it'll be a lot easier. And a lot of that's because I emailed and I asked and I was polite and vigilant about, hey, can you make this more accessible there, it's not accessible for an individual that's in a chair or, or that. And it was when my I was had my shorter chair, but now that my chair is not not shorter, what not as wide chair, but now that my chair is wider and taller, it's just a quick thing to get in and out. So things like making it so both doors open, then I can slide, and if it goes to shut, I can press the remote again to open them. So that'll be a lot easier. So awesome. And in hindsight, if you are having accessibility issues, don't be afraid to talk to your landlord, your property manager, all, building manager, all those sorts of things, to take the steps and ask a lot of times they are they if they are not on a they're not aware they don't know that there's an issue and then you talk to them and they can resolve it this has taken several years but i've kept on it and on it politely so keep on it keep asking the questions going as far as you need in order to get things accessible for yourself because no one knows if it's not working for you unless you say something. Because each each accessibility thing is different is different for each person. Because each person's needs are different. Even if you have the same disability, your needs are different. Because there's certain limitations in that that some people have with one disability but not. Some people that have that same one don't have those same limitations. They have other ones. So yeah, ask. And if you like this video and you want more of this, please like, subscribe, share, enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I talk about all sorts of things of living on while living on ODSP and being having multiple disabilities. Peace, much love, bye-bye for now.